ready to make palmiers. Uh, sometimes these are also called elephant ears. Um, so I am starting with uh, purchase puff pastry dough. Uh, ideally, I would, of course, be using the puff pastry that we made from scratch. Um, but what I'm doing is I just have a silk pat down um, for a little bit easier cleanup. You can definitely just do this straight on the countertop or you can do it on some parchment. So I only have two ingredients for palmiers, just the puff pastry and the sugar. So I'm going to start by just putting some sugar down on my sill pot. I want to have a nice coat of that sugar. The place where you can go wrong when you're making palmiers is actually not having enough sugar. So I've spread my surface with uh, granulated sugar. So you wanna make sure you have a nice coat on here. Um, you don't wanna have too little and then your puff pastry ends up sticking. So I have had this puff pastry, um, I just thawed it overnight in the refrigerator. That's the most uh, delicate way that we can get this to thaw and not have to worry about trying to rush this or having it too cold, especially because this comes folded. If you try to unfold it while it's still chilled too far, um, it will break and then you'll have to try and um, solve these cracks that I've created. So there's a little bit of flour in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and brush that off. And then I'm gonna sprinkle sugar on the top surface as well. And I'm not worried about having too much. Um, if it doesn't end up in the dough, I will just brush that off. So I'm gonna roll this out just a little bit and I'm, I'm not really trying too much to change the size of this. Um, it's a good thickness. We're right at about 1 8 of an inch, which is exactly where we wanna be. But I wanna get some of the sugar pressed into the dough. And if I have enough sugar on the bottom side, I don't have to worry about my dough sticking at all. You can see that it's moving freely on here. Okay, nice amount on there. So, um, now that I've done this first roll, I just wanna make sure I have enough sugar on there. So I'm gonna come and just rain down um, some more. And then I'm gonna be folding this um, twice on each side. So my first one, I'm gonna bring this in just a little less than a quarter of the way. Same thing on this side. Give that just a little press down so that those two pieces of dough can grab each other a little bit. A little bit of sprinkle on there again. Okay. These will get folded over one more time. Oops, back that up just a little bit. Back up. So this is where we want to end up, where we actually have this uh, sort of well in the middle. So um, what that does is that when we fold these together, um, we're not asking this piece in the middle to stretch. So I'm gonna sprinkle on some sugar one more time. And then now I will fold these on top of each other. Now I do wanna go ahead and just give this a little press. Go ahead and give myself a little more sugar Give that a nice even roll. Now what we wanna do is let this chill for 30 minutes. Um, this is gonna allow, um, number one, our dough to firm back up. We will always get the best volume of puff pastry when we're baking, when we have very, very cold dough. So I'm just gonna um, throw this on a sheet pan and chill this in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. My palmier dough has now been chilling for half an hour, so I'm gonna slice these in uh, about half inch thick slices. So you can just use your finger as a guide, and I'm using a chef's knife for this. So um, just mark those there. 
and make sure that you are cutting straight up and down you want to have nice clean cuts for this you don't want to be twisting or pulling in any way And then I'm going to place these on a sheet pan. I find mine with a sill pad, but you can definitely um, just use parchment for this. So what you want to do is place these uh, cut side down. I want to also make sure that I give these enough room to expand um, because they're going to spread out. So I have these five by three for a half sheet pan. So now I'm going to um, put these back in the freezer um, just for about 10 minutes or so, just like when I am making uh, cheese straws or anything with puff pastry. I want to make the temperature change from the dough to the oven as extreme as possible so that the moisture from my fat can immediately get converted into steam and that's going to give me my beautifully flaky layers. My palmiers have been in the oven for about 12 minutes. Um, what I'm looking for is I want to see that the sugar on the bottom has started to caramelize. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and flip these over because the sugar caramelization is actually happening on the underside of these. So I want to flip them so that now both sides will have that nice caramelization of sugar. That is our signature flavor for the palmiers since we only have these two ingredients, the puff pastry and the sugar. We wanna make sure that that sugar really has a chance to get nice and sort of liquefied. So these are gonna go back in the oven until uh, the other side has started to caramelize. My palmiers just came out of the oven. Uh, the second bake was just five minutes. And this is exactly what I'm looking for here. So the sugar has gotten shiny. It actually has started to caramelize. And once these cool, they're gonna be really nice and crunchy and really a great, simple, nice dessert.